finally, finally! Hi guys and welcome to a new Nandoroid box opening video. Today I have for you Megumin, the uh, limited um, version from One Face. And the thing is, they sell her at One Face, but they also sell her on the Good Smile website. And I wasn't sure I wanted her because I already have the other version of Megumin, but she comes with a cat. So I kind of like, and she comes with like so many weird things, like food, and she has those big chick thing. So I was thinking, okay, I can do this to Megumin. I mean, why not? Like, it's not like I don't have two of the same, like I have like three Kirito and like four Hazuna. And so yeah, uh, kind of makes sense to have all of the Konosuba as well. So, the thing is, I said finally, finally, because One Fest was in January and I couldn't go and I, w I won't be able to go again, uh, like, at the summer one, which is probably past now. Anyway, so yeah, I'm missing the One Fest because I have other things to do, unfortunately, and the thing is, um, the Good Smile website actually released her on the Mikus, which I also have. So you're gonna see the review of the Mikus later. They released them now in July, and so it took quite a while for them to come. And I was like so excited, and I was waiting, and I was like, "Why is it not out yet? Why is it not out yet?" And I just like keep on like checking the website over and over again. But finally, they made it. Home. It was my first time ordering with Good Smile as well, so I was kind of like shaky, like, "Oh, is it gonna work?" Blah blah blah. Anyway. So I've got a Megumin version, and you've seen Union yesterday, so they're kind of like fighting each other. But this one is just like so hungry, she's like, if you look at the pictures they put on the box, she's like, with food like, more than half of the time. So, yeah. But I like that she has a cat. Anyway guys, let me open her for you and show her to you from close up. So, second version of Megumin, you can see she has like this uh, face where she's winking at you. Already, you can see the little cat here. She's also like holding lobsters in her hands. So that's another part of accessories. So, some food here and drinks. The so lobsters, the cat. I think three different heads. Um, yeah, so this one is pretty cool, like heavy in accessory at least. And she can probably share the food with my other version of Megumin. Let's see how it works. So, and she also has a different outfit. So she doesn't have her hat as usual, and she has a sort of pink dress, skirt or top or anything. Anyway, it's kind of nice. So. Let's see, so she has this very pink girly background and of course, as usual, you have the little books she comes with, with all the explanation about everything and how she holds the cat, the different part of the cat, everything she comes with, how to take care of the hair and style and stuff in English and Japanese. So that's for that. And then, so, um, so she has, huh, I didn't notice this sort of face on the box. Uh, let me go back and have a look. Yeah, here it is. So I didn't know, this is a very, very strange looking face. She has like the, her eyes got so small suddenly, like the color in her eyes got so small. So the stand is here on the side, it only comes with a neck peg in case you need to have an extra one. And then, so she has, so here is a cat body, extra cat body, extra hands. Let me remove the plastic on top of that, make it easier for later. And then she has, so this is probably holding sake, this is a V sign. This is some food that she's eating. She also has a lobster, so I'm going to remove the plastic on here. 
So she has hands that can hold those lobsters. They might be able to, since it's not attached to the hands, they might probably be able to hold something else if you have something with a little hole like that. So that would be interesting to test if I ever find something with a little hole like that. What about here? I don't know if... Let's check if we can actually remove the fruit. No, those are actually fixed. So you can remove the hands, I guess, from the arms, but the food is actually fixed inside. Then we have the little cat here in a bag. So the cat has two different body, and this second body actually has wings. This is a body where she is actually holding the cat. And here is Megumin. So oh, a different type of plastic than usual. It's not as clear. And she is winking at us, guys. So let's remove all the plastic. So here, protection for her face. She has a night eye light, so her her hair is brown, but she has black highlight a bit everywhere. And then she has plastic here around her neck, separating that color sort of things from the rest. Here we go. And then we have some plastic here around her waist and some plastic here where the legs are attached. And that's it, so completely plastic-free Megumi. And she has like this cool headband still on her leg. So here we go, that's what she looks like. So I'm going to zoom on her and on all those little pieces, show her to her from close-up. And then I'll take some pictures so you can see her with her other version. So I'm gonna call her I'm in love with food version of Megumin. Uh, she's actually called the school uniform version because she's wearing a school a pink school uniform. So guys, I think I'm gonna call her I'm in love with food version of Megumin, even so the original is school uniform version. Because of course she's wearing this school uniform in pink with the um, jacket on top and this uh, ribbon because she probably try to graduate or something, I don't know, but all the accessories are based on food. So let's start with the review. So she has this pretty nice colored hair, you have highlight on the crease and you have like different shade of brown. So you have like darker blackish brown and like normal brown and those uh, in the crease it's kind of like, I don't know, very lighter. It's kind of cool. And then, so she comes with different faces. She has this one where she is winking at you. And she has this one where she looks so very proud of herself. And then you have the other one when she probably ate a little bit too much and she wants to vomit. At least that's how I look at it. Her cheeks became so big that her nose totally disappeared. It's it's really cool. And at the same time, a little bit scary. So anyway, so that's the three face she comes with. And then um, she has a lot of nice little detail on her school uniform, but it's still just a normal school uniform. She has a tie and she has a belt and she has like the pleasy dress and she has this things that actually can move. You can probably also remove it because it's attached to the tile with a little something going in. And then, of course, you go through here to put her on the stand and she has this uh, overall thing jacket on top and it's a lot of waves there. She seems to have been arm probably doing some explosion stuff on her right leg so it's like bandage with this white gauze and then on the other side she has like her black socks and she's wearing little orange bootsy sort of shoes so why i say she's so much into food is because of the arms she actually comes with which are here if i don't lose them on the way 
Um, so first you have this one where she is doing the V sign, so victory. Then she has this one where, this is probably a bottle of sake, I would guess. So she has a sake in there. And then uh, the next one is this one where she is actually eating some sort of, I don't know if it's bread or chocolate or, well, she's eating something basically again. And then she has lobsters in both of her hands. So you can see the lobster in the hand here on both sides. There is a lot of detail on the little lobster. You can even see the shape of the eyes of the poor little lobster. Lots of legs and the bean pins and the antennas. So pretty well made lobsters. So that's why I say she's just so in love with food in this version of her. And she probably wants to eat everything. And I don't know, maybe it's like she's celebrating graduation from our school or something. I don't know. Uh, let me think, uh, let me know what you think about it, guys. And then, of course, she has a kittens. So, she basically has one cat. So, this one is where the position where she's actually holding the cat. So, the cat is not really standing. It's more like hanging from his front paw here and the leg is going down. And the um, tail is also going down at the back. So it's just like hanging in her arms. And then you have the second body here. So you can remove the head of the cat and put it on the second body. Where the cat is actually standing, it has its tail at the back. Uh, the tail doesn't move. So it just fixed like that. And it has little bat wings. Sorry, I, it got out of focus a little bit. So this is what the cat actually looked like. So let's see if I can change the head. Yeah, it looks pretty easy. So you have this big hole in the head and you just put the ball and here you go. Flying kitten with those bad little wings. So hi guys, they are going to be great friends and what I'm going to do is actually take picture of her with the different face and stuff but also with the other version of her so you can see the difference for yourself uh, because I haven't like I'm not comparing them here so you can compare them by yourself on the pictures at the end of this video. Anyway guys, um, I hope you enjoyed. So guys, that's all for today. Uh, let me know what you think about this version of Megumin. Do you like her or do you prefer the previous version? Do you think it's good enough that they call her the school uniform version? Or do you think, do you agree with me like she's like, I love food so much version? Uh, I think it, uh, I love food so much version is a lot funnier. And do you like the cat she comes with? I think the cat is kind of cool to have because the other version didn't have her cat and this one, well, she does, <laughs> basically. Anyway, I think also the faces that she comes with are pretty awesome because they are kind of, I'm not gonna say rare, but like the big cheeks and like the, the eyes where she looks like she's gonna vomit anytime soon. It's kind of hilarious. So let me know what you think about her faces as well. Uh, I think she's, she got a lot of potential. And also, you can also swap our faces with the other Megumin version if you have both, so that you can have like all those combinations, it's just so much potential. Um, which is a reason why I kind of like to have multiple versions of the same Nendoroid, because it just gives you so many things. And you can play the Twins game as well, which is pretty cool. So anyway guys, that's um, a lot of things that I like about this little Megumin. So, uh, let me know what you think about in the comment section below. Don't forget to give me a thumb up and to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And see you next time something else. Have fun whatever you do. Bye!